David, I would, uh, I'd like to report a robbery at Stamford Bridge. I'm not sure how we've managed to get a point from that one, to be honest. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ, first half was absolutely dreadful. Um, managed to get ourselves back in at one all, which I thought maybe we can actually go on and maybe sneak a last minute winner. Then they got the second goal and I thought, oh, that's it, it's going to finish 2-1 or maybe they'll probably get another one late on when we're pushing for a goal or something. Can it be 3-1? Uh, typical loss at Stamford Bridge. But um, no, <laughs> Harry Kane popping up in the last minute. I think Richarlison added a lot to the game. Um, I think Perisic will probably start the next game. I think Romero will probably get a ban. Um, obviously, you know, it wasn't pulled up um, in this one, but I think he'll probably get a ban and um, they'll really look at that in between games. But yeah, I don't know. Conte not being there for the Wolves game. Potentially if Romero gets a suspension, like a one-game suspension or something as well. You know, I don't know. Um, could be a bit of a weird one going into Wolves. But nonetheless, uh, at 90 minutes today, I would have taken a draw at Chelsea. We don't really win there. So a draw is not too bad, considering how they played as well. It wasn't like they're in such dire straits that everyone was saying they were before the game so you know given all things considered if you said to me would you take a point at Stamford Bridge uh, I would probably would have said yes especially given that we lost four times to them last season so yeah look at least it's a little bit of progress but we need to be better in the next fixture uh, we play them which is obviously at our ground and need to get out after them from the start we can't wait to the 90th minute to try and rescue a draw. Um, it's, it's not really good enough, and it was poor today, but I'll take a point nonetheless.